So I got me this gadget on uh, on the Amazon website called the Nano Presso, designed by Wakako Limited. Um, I've gone through a few portable espresso makers over the years, some better than others. None of them held up too well. Hopefully this one is a little more rugged. So you can see I've taken it apart already. This bottom part is uh, where you put the water in and they store a couple of devices in. This other part pulls off to form a cup. Um, so we set that aside. I've already boiled some water and then I bring along my own grinds so uh, in the mornings I'll make a latte it's late in the evening so we're just gonna make an, an espresso we might make a latte as another film this little measuring cup is used to measure just the right amount of coffee that goes into what I guess would be the portafilter. Um, this all seems pretty rugged. These pieces come apart. Uh, there's some screws in there to allow you to take dismantle these components to clean them. Not you don't have to clean it every time, but if it starts getting some coffee gooey in there, you can clean it up. So I measure off one scoop full out of my bag of, of grounds that I take with me and there are some small nibs on the side I'll show you those after I move the coffee into the portafilter but they might show up on here there's little nibs around there that are all about the same level as this handle which keeps you from pressing getting cockeyed when you push the the scoop down into the portafilter um, you use the bottom of the scoop as a press to push the coffee and pack it into the portafilter the last gadget I had had a screen on the bottom and the screen distorted and blew out eventually. This one looks like it'll probably hold up better. It's some nice thick plastic. You insert that into the uh, whatever this gadget is. Turn it upside down screw the body on there's a pump in this part of the body and what I believe is happening when you pump it it pumps air up into this chamber which will have water in it once we fill it and then that pressurizes and goes back down through the coffee so I've already boiled some water I'm in a town suites hotel. They have a little cooktop. I mean, you could just as easily um, cook some. I mean, heat the water up in the in a microwave if they have it in the hotel. I put water in to these cups and heat them up a little bit first. and then just dump it back out. And then I'll put a fresh set of hot water in here. Um, normally I also heat the bottom part, but since I've already moved past that part of the production process, we'll just, we won't benefit from that little bit of heating. Now, here's the part that gets a little tough on this particular model. You turn it upside down and you pop this little 
pump piston out and you start pressing but it takes quite a bit of effort to pump and it takes a while so what I found is easier is to find a nice rigid object and in this case it's going to be the cabinet over here line it up and hold it down on the bottom with one hand and then just start pumping and I've never counted the pumps but I bet you it's 30 or 40 of them seems like a lot and I'm really having to push hard on this thing we got arthritis in here in your joints this might be kind of difficult and you just keep pumping until finally you'll get to a point where it gets a little easier and that's probably when you're not picking up water anymore and you're just squirting air through um, starting to sound funny we may almost be there Yeah, it's getting softer. So, there you can see pretty nice crema. Decent little, it's not a very big shot. So that's it. It's a Nano Presso. I'll show you. It, it doesn't use all the last bit of water. Um, there's a little bit of water left in there. And then on, we'll flip the other side. But see, it stays nice and clean. There's not any real mess. You know, of course, it's. Now it's leaking out all over my paper towel, but all of the coffee stays behind in this. Doesn't want to come apart. Oh, how about that? It really didn't want to come apart there. So it, you just clean these little parts, rinse everything else real quick, and, and you're done. So a lot of effort on the pumping part that's the one minus I'd say about this um, haven't used it enough to know how rugged it's going to be but it seems pretty good I'm not sure if this piston can be removed for service like to change an o-ring or anything like that all of this part doesn't you know I can't see any fasteners or anything that would allow you to take it apart uh, although that that black ring there has four little notches in it, so probably that's a uh, that's something that unscrews to allow you to get to more of the pieces. That's it.